Hello again, and welcome back to the channel. Today, apart from telling you about the Vlissingen Railway Interchange, we are doing some technical work on Dynamic Zoom. This video has four still images on screen for 1 minute 40 seconds, and the end of the clip is 44 seconds of GoPro. The techie bit is to take you on a trip around a photograph for 20 seconds, rather than just presenting a still image for around 6 seconds and letting you the viewer do the work. Anyway, please comment below if you wish to contribute. So, Vlissingen Station opened in 1873 at the western end of the Rosendal to Vlissingen Railway. It is, almost, the most westerly station in the Netherlands and was, unsurprisingly, largely destroyed in the Second World War. The new station was built in 1950 by an interesting chap by the name of Sibbald van Ravestein, who managed to salvage the platforms and some of the canopy. Let me apologize for butchering the Dutch pronunciation, but as an AI bot, I have no chance in getting that right. Built in the neo-baroque style, which is clearly recognizable today, the building really stands out in the port area and has a cafe as well as the usual cycle infrastructure you find throughout the Netherlands. As visitors to the building, which is adjacent to the Westerskelt Ferry, and on which we were traveling back to Breskens, there is clear evidence of Ravestein's characteristic details of round tilted windows, cornice decorations, and statues. Interestingly for travelers like ourselves, there is a statue commemorating the electrification of the line in 1957, which was a bit in advance of the Cambridge Kingsland video we did last year, with Great Northern celebrating a mere 30 years. You can catch that on our playlist. Looking at this Wednesday evening's blessing and departure boards, with frequent services to Rotterdam Central, Dordrecht and Roosendaal, we can already feel the draw for our Passenger 24 project. We must return by rail, 